Today is April 7th, 2012. Um, this is an updated video of a litter of sheep -a doodles eight puppies, three girls, five boys. They were born on the 10th of March, and uh, they are all spoken for. But once again, as we try to update for the benefit of the families that are anticipating the arrival of their puppies home here in a few short weeks, uh, we just want to give an update. And of course, as you can see, they are getting a little more active. Um, I'll make sure that I introduce each one individually by their ID names. Now, some of them have had new names assigned to them, but um, for confusion for me or lack thereof, uh, I'll probably just address them by their ID names for now. Um, <clears throat> And uh, anyway, they are four weeks old today. Today is Saturday. And they will begin to go home in about three weeks. They are out of our handsome AKC registered Old English Sheepdog, Yogi. And you can see him on our website as well as Fanny the Mommy. They are both pictured on the website with each of the individual shots of these uh, puppies. We hope to get them updated as well by the first of this week, um, if not this weekend, of course, tomorrow being Easter, um, we are gonna be spending some time with family, so I'm not sure I'm gonna get my normal Sunday afternoon updates done, but we'll see what happens. Um, anyway, uh, of course, Fanny is the mom. She's a beautiful AKC registered black and white standard poodle. She's actually retiring after this litter. This is Law Padoodle Kennel. You can see the photos on our website. It's www.lawpdoodle kennel, K E N N E L, dot com. We are located in Lost Creek, West Virginia. We are four hours west of Baltimore and Washington, D.C., and two hours south of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And we are two hours north, of course, of Charleston, West Virginia. And uh, you can Google Map us and find out where we are. We do have, if you go to our website, um, there is a delivery uh, shipping options page that you can find out information about various places that we do make delivery. We certainly welcome you here to see the puppies if you can, as well as meet the parents and see how your puppy is raised. But uh, our puppies go many different places. We actually have a sheep -a doodle now in Spain. Um, it was a long, tedious process, but we are so glad to have her there, and she is with an awesome family. And uh, we continue to get updates. And we'll continue to share them as they come along. We've got a lot of updates that I do apologize. Uh, please keep them coming. I am trying to keep a log of everything. And when I finally get some quiet time, haha, ha, um, I hope to be doing some updates on our references as well as photos of some of our puppies as they've grown up, as uh, the families have shared them with us. And we so much appreciate it and don't want you to stop just because you haven't seen them on my website yet. Um, it's just one of those things on my long to-do list. We all have them. And uh, I do hope to get that accomplished soon. And finally finished our taxes. Praise God that's over with this year. So Uncle Sam, we hope you're happy. And uh, until next year. <laughs> anyway, all right, let's get on to our puppies here. Let's see. I do have my list close by, but maybe I can remember everybody. Okay, this course is our biggest guy. This is Cooper. Um, and once again, all of these puppies have been spoken for, and they have now officially been assigned to each one of their families, as it is noted on our website on their page. Um, you just have to click on our main sheep -a doodle page. The links are all over the place. You can it, It's not hard to find the links, so just please go to our website um, as we gave it to you, and you should be able to find the links to our main sheep -a doodle page, which therein will lead you to the links to upcoming litters um, as well, and our reservation list. Okay? Um... This little boy, who is this? Okay, this is Luke. I'm sorry. I could actually. I need to change as I take their pictures. Um, I need to change their um, collars. They get a little bit slimy in their food. They are eating solid food now. Um, doing very, very well. Uh, their solid food, of course, is moistened, and I do grind it up a bit at this age. In about a week or so, I'll stop grinding it, but I'll continue to moisten it to keep them from wasting it more than anything because they get a little crazy and like to play in it. Okay, again, this is Luke. He's our little mime boy. That's what we call him for his markings on his beautiful little face. Half white and half black. He's going to be absolutely precious as an adult. Okay, uh, let's see... Who do we have here? We have, this is Amber. This is our other, she's a pretty big girl too. Um, of course, she has been chosen by her family, but yes, yeah, she's a pretty sizable girl. 
Um, we did finally make note for everybody because you really, really need to be aware um, as uh, someone that might be researching this breed that people are often looking for the black and white. Now, they are black and white now, as you can see, as puppies, as are Old English Sheepdogs as puppies. But very good chance, very strong chance, some more than others, that they will all silver upon maturity um, because the fading gene is very prevalent in the poodle breed of all colors. And as you can see right here, who do we have here? This is Zach. Zach shows a little bit more silvering even now than his sibling. So his just might be a little expedited as he matures. It even shows within his main coat. Um, he's going to have quite a beautiful texture of various shades of silvering and gray as he gets older. Um, some will mature a little bit darker than others. It's hard to say. And maybe some of them that are a little bit more jet black at, at, um, at, during their puppyhood may be a little bit darker at maturity. But uh, you can see the pictures of our Chessie. The markings, uh, Chessie is our adult sheep doodle that we kept from our first litter from last spring and um, she was marked very similar to Zach and his sister Satara who I believe is right here there she is here's Miss Satara okay and she also has some of that silvering already showing up in her um, coat sometimes it shows up a little bit of a tannish color that's very very typical but it will change to silver that tannish color will not hold itself okay all right let's see who do we got here Okay. Sometimes I just draw names and I should know better because this one's named after my daughter. This one is Lisa. Okay. Um, and she's one of our three females. I love her markings. She's got some beautiful markings right here on her rump. Um, the tra what, what we really are aiming to do and uh, it, with the choices of our parents, and you'll see we've introduced some of our up-and-coming parents that will be maturing for breeding later this year in our long-anticipated um, program of sheep doodles that we had decided to add to our breeding program almost three years ago. Um, we've been planning very, very carefully and choosing our parents very carefully and raising them from puppies. And... Uh, the only one that uh, did not come to us as a puppy was the mommy of this litter, Fanny. She actually came to us from a very dear, trusted breeder friend, um, but she is old enough now that she will be maturing. We had her first litter last spring. We gave her a rest for a cycle, and then she had this one and final litter. But it, at um, now she has reached the age that it is time for her retirement, and we've already found her a permanent loving home, and she will be coming to her family very soon. Um, we will be having her spayed here before she leaves. So she's got a few more weeks after, of course, she has to be weaned off her puppies in a few weeks, and then after that she'll be spayed. She'll be here till recovery, and we'll get her professionally groomed, and then she'll be able to go home to her new family. Okay, and they actually happen to be a family that has known uh, my husband for many years as they worked together uh, in his early years uh, at Hewlett Packard. He's still with Hewlett Packard to this day. Okay, all right. Um, but I believe that Fanny's new mommy has since retired. Yeah, okay, I don't want to leave anybody out. Let's see, who do we got here? We have, this is Jacob. Okay, so hello Jacob. Jacob just came running over to me. If you were able to see it on the video, I didn't know if I had the camera focused on him or not. Came running over to me. There's Jacob. They're really becoming more friendly and interactive now. I'm sure as anybody observing from last week's video, it, they change so quickly as in their social skills from week to week. Really almost daily. Okay, uh, don't want to miss anybody. Let's see. Okay, this one was of course Luke. We saw Luke. Uh, Mr. Cooper, you just want to hog the camera, don't you? Okay, and this one is Zach that we showed you earlier. He's the one that, uh, like his sister, Satara. Okay, this is our little Andrew. Okay, Andrew is actually going to be going to Canada, as are a couple of uh, the puppies from this litter. Okay, he is, yes, our smallest puppy in the litter, but he is so cute. <laughs> and he very well could mature out very close to uh, at maturity uh, to his um, siblings. We had a little one in Cricket's litter last year. And uh, actually, he was a true run. I'm not so sure I would really call Andrew a run. He definitely was smaller, but he was a true run. And there were some times early on that I kind of worried about him. He went home with his sister, um, and he is quickly catching up. His sister was actually the biggest one in the litter, and he is quickly catching up. I think you can catch their videos if you go to YouTube and uh, search sheep -a doodle videos, uh, Ellie and Mowgli are the two. They don't live very far away from here, but they are out of our Cricket and Yogi litter from last year. 
and uh, they do update their videos quite regularly um, as, uh, as the puppies are maturing. And Diana has come out here and spent many hours with me working with the puppies, which has been so much appreciative um, in the past. And she's been giving tre tremendous moral support and uh, wonderful labor support. She just loves being around the puppies. But they have two of our sheep -a doodles from last year, so we welcome you to go visit their uh, videos. Again, it's uh, Ellie and Mowgli's videos. Just search sheep -a doodles uh, under YouTube, and I think you might be able to find them because they've got plenty of them there. And that way you can kind of see some of uh, a couple of puppies that have grown older. But Mowgli was a very, very tiny little boy, and uh, we watched him very carefully early on, but boy, has he really matured to be a nice, healthy guy. Yeah, and a big guy. He's getting bigger. All right, let's see. Who do we got here? I know we're missing somebody. This one was Lisa. Okay, um... Where is our little, okay, Amber we talked to, that's Zach, that's our little Andrew, somebody's over here, this is Amber, see cute little Amber, our phone's ringing, but we'll get it here in a little bit, we want to make sure we finish this video for everybody, Lisa, okay, there's Cooper, who's over here nosing on, the, oh, you're chewing on a bone, aren't you, you're chewing on a bone, okay, this is, um, this is Jacob, yeah, there's Jacob. Okay, so I think I got everybody. See, Zach, they're all in a circle around me now. Zach, Andrew, I mean, no, yeah, Andrew? Yeah, Andrew. Okay, climbing on me is Jacob. There is Satara. Yeah, and there's Lisa. Lisa looks like she's ready to take a nap. Yeah. Here's Jacob. Who's going in behind me? <laughs> there's a good There's Luke. There's Luke. He's ready to play. He's ready to play. Oh, and this is uh, Amber right behind me. She snuck behind me and came around the other side. Okay. Let's see. That is Luke and Andrew playing together. Okay, here's Zach. Walking in front of them is... I really have to dig for their collars until I get them changed. Usually I try to change them first, but I got a couple of impatient mommies outside, so I didn't want to take any more time than necessary. So it's not hot outside, but we don't have any shade in the area where I put mommies to go to the bathroom and the sun's full force in the afternoon. So I want to get them back inside. Okay, there's Satara. Yeah, Miss Lisa was ready for a nap, wasn't she? Yeah, she was ready for a nap. Okay, and there's Mr. Cooper. Yep. Okay, I'll stand up and give you another shot from above so you can see them all. Who's looking at me right there? Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Is that Jacob? Yeah, that's Jacob. That was Jacob. Yep, there's Lisa. She sat up. She sat up. <coughs> there's Amber. <coughs> there's Andrew right there at my feet. Mr. Cutie Pie. Yeah, Mr. Cutie Pie. Yeah. Okay, there's Zach laying down. There's Cooper climbing on top of him. I'm going to go dig out something and play. See how playful they're getting now. So, once again, this is just a quick update. We want to wish everybody a wonderful, happy, blessed Easter. Uh, this is the day before Easter. So, we do hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Easter. The weather promises to be beautiful in many parts of the country. So, um, perfect day for Easter celebration with family. And uh, thank you again for viewing our puppies. We will hopefully have a couple more updates. We are fast approaching the day that they will be going home. Of course, they have to be eight weeks for those that are flying. We have a couple of them that will be flying, especially our little Canadian guys. I do believe that Andrew's family is going to meet us here, so we'll see what uh, um, we'll see what goes on that. But um, I've got a couple more, I think, flying into parts of Canada. Okay, so once again. Thank you very much, and may God bless you.